Hola, hola, ¿cómo están? Espero que estén muy, pero muy bien. Arriba mi gente positiva, mi nombre es Julio Ávila de Leemprende.com. Hoy hablaremos de Leal. Hablaremos de la fecha de publicación en este mismo video, adjunto una entrevista con esta joven y bella escritora. Acompáñenme. Leal. Ahora sí viene lo chido. publicado el 22 de octubre del año 2013, cuenta con 544 páginas. Bueno, una sola elección te define. La sociedad dividida en facciones en las que antes creía atriz ha quedado hecha a pedazos, fracturada por la violencia en las luchas de poder y marcada por la traición. Así que cuando tiene la oportunidad de explorar el mundo más allá de los límites que siempre ha conocido, Tris está más que dispuesta. Puede que al otro lado de la valla, Tobías y ella descubran una nueva vida, juntos, más sencilla, libre de mentiras, lealtades confusas y recuerdos dolorosos. Sin embargo, la nueva realidad de Tris es aún más inquietante que la ha dejado atrás. Lo que creía haber descubierto deja de tener sentido. Surgen verdades explosivas que hacen cambiar de opinión a sus seres queridos. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet Get you. to talk about who invented those characters. But what I enjoy about books is that every reader can build his own imagination on what the characters look like. So right. for you as a writer, does it does the film match your expectations as to what they're gonna be? Well, I think I think it does in a lot of ways. Mm. In surprising amount yeah, of ways, yeah. <laughs> actually. Yeah, the whole vibe of the world that they're living in is very close to how I imagined it. Like kind of retro future with you know, like why in the future would we use buttons to open mirrors? But we do. Um, yeah, so uh, in that sense it matched very much, but a lot of things were very surprising too, mm -hmm. which I liked because it was, a, it was kind yeah. of like a way to rediscover the story for me. It's been a while since I wrote it and um, it's really cool to see someone else's interpretation of it. How important is it for you to be, I mean, I've interviewed all the actors for them, it was very important that they had you as a reference, that they could ask you all sorts of questions. How important was it for you to be involved in the process? Well, I, it's funny they say that because <laughs> I tried to stay away from them as they were yeah. doing their work because I think, um, you know, it's the actor's job to understand the character, to sympathize with them and to bring them to life. So I wanted to give them as much space as possible to do that without me kind of mm. like looming <laughs> over them with judgment and criticism. <laughs> Um, but I have a good relationship with the people who are working on the movie, and I talked to Neil Berger, the director, yeah. quite a bit about you know little details of the world and how it works. So I felt um, I felt like the work was respected, and that so yeah. was I, and that I was involved as much as I wanted to be. But I was also writing the third book <laughs> at the time, so I was kind of busy, you know. That absolutely. But, well, when you wrote the first book, it was in the microcosm of the university. So technically, right. did you ever imagine that it would go to that kind of horizons? <laughs> Not really. No. <laughs> Um, I think that would have been a little delusional of me at the time, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's all been a very pleasant surprise. Every, I mean, I'm very pessimistic. I don't think anything will work out until it does, so it's all been a shock to me, I think. <laughs> Well, or a good surprise, hey. Really. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. well, what I enjoy about those kind of novels in general is that you know the audiences, the readers can take out of it different things depending on who they are and their frame of mind. Right. Is it important for you as well to have that kind of eclectic literature that a lot of people can relate to? I think that is important, yeah. And I... Uh You know, I hope that no single message emerges from the book. You know, sometimes people ask me, like, what I yeah. want to say, you know, with my work, and I'm always like, ah, oh, I'm afraid of <laughs> saying something like But that. Because they, 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 they forget that a lot of the writing is also unconscious. It's also informed by who you are, and it's not right. always, doesn't always have an agenda, basically. Right, and, and now I reread, and I, I learn so much about the person I was when mm -hmm. I wrote it and what I was struggling with at the time. It seems very clear to me, you know, what kind of life situation I was in. And I had no idea at the time. It was not 
not on purpose. So you're right, it's very unconscious. How much are you looking forward to, to the next two now that your trilogy is, is complete? And you're writing the, the other point of view, right? Tio's. Yes, I mean, Tio's. Tobias's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, just a, a few stories, not like a full length yeah. thing. But that'll be out in July here, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Yeah, I think the other books pose a lot more, like, a very interesting challenges for movie making so I mean the hope is that they'll make them first of all but I'm really interested to see how they do it if they do how much of a movie lover are you in general what movies have inspired your writing I'm really into action movies which should shock no one I guess considering this is an action movie pretty much yeah, but, but very character based so yes good yeah medium. I think I yeah I like that balance you know when you get to watch an action movie where it's fun and you're excited but you also get to know this person and to see you know, the complexities of, of who they are. So I think in this sense, like, Divergent is a very good movie for me as a moviegoer. <laughs> but um, I always liked kind of like sci-fi movies also. Like I remember being obsessed with The Matrix when I was young. Um, and superhero movies I'm into, uh, yeah. Thank you so much, I look forward to seeing the rest. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Todo terminó, señores. No tenemos escapatoria. ¿Cómo te pareció? Bueno, ¿cierto? Gracias por ver este video. Te lo agradezco mucho. Si requieres un libro, pásate por mi sitio web, déjame un comentario del libro que necesitas y haré todo el esfuerzo por conseguírtelo y te lo hago llegar. Suscríbete a mi canal, me ayudarías mucho. Te recomiendo esta música para que disfrutes de tu lectura. La lectura es un buen hábito que todos debemos adquirir. Mejora tu escritura, te estimula mentalmente, te ayuda a relajarte. No es costoso ni complicado y amplía tu conocimiento. Mínimo, mínimo, te recomiendo 30 minutos de lectura diaria. Te aseguro cómo cambiará tu vida.